Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, reporter and fellow participants. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks to the organizers for this opportunity to share some of our work on conservation agriculture impacts in cereal-based cropping systems of South Asia based on our meta-analysis. We all know that uh, South Asia has uh, unparalleled challenges. And when we talk about challenges, the first thing is the population because it's uh, one of the densely populated regions having 1.7 billion people. And by 2050, the number is expected to grow to 2.4 billion. It's also a global hotspot for contemporary and future climatic variability. Uh, the region has uh, you know, three to five times higher pressure on the natural resources than the rest of the world. And uh, we need more nutritious food from less and moreover from the degraded natural resources and having the you know, projected climate change impacts. And also you can see in this uh, map, uh, the region is uh, dominated by very small order farmers and uh, Asia's 450 million small order farmers produce about 80% of the food consumed in the region. And that shows the importance of the small order farmers in the region. So the conservation agriculture in a small order farmer systems of, of South Asia is very, very much uh, important. And if you talk about agriculture's contribution to sustainable development goals uh, that requires climate smart, regenerative and profitable technologies and uh, institutional innovations. Also, uh, you know, there is attention on conservation agriculture as a strategy of sustainable intensification but uh, there is a lack of evidence-based consensus on merits of conservation agriculture in the smallholder systems of the region. So with this background, we did a meta-analysis of conservation agriculture using some 10,000 paired side year comparisons representing different indicators of the cropping system performance. Uh, and uh, you know, when conservation agriculture practices are compared uh, you know, separately or in tandem. So with this, uh, we used uh, different uh, set of uh, treatments, you know, for the comparison purpose. Uh, one is uh, business as usual, which is conventional tillage based systems, residues retained or burnt or, or incorporated or removed. And it's a double cropping system. Uh, also, you know, zero till in one of the crop in the system or zero till in the, both the crops in the system, the residues retained with the double cropping system or no till or zero till in all the crops, the triple cropping systems the residues retained in at least uh, you know, two of the main crops uh, in, the, in the system. And uh, using that, we did meta-analysis at two stages, uh, the one with the conventional and conservation agriculture practices compared and the stage two when conservation agriculture was further classified into three categories and compared with the uh, conventional system as a control. So the overall performance of conservation agriculture in South Asia indicates that, uh, you know, if you talk about on station trials, uh, there was a yield gain of nearly 12%, same is the case for protein equivalent yield. There was a gain in water use efficiency up to 30% and also the net economic return more than 25%. Whereas in own farm uh, in data, the yield gains were something like six, 7%. The water use efficiency was higher by 10% and economic returns were higher by 25%. Whereas if you put together the own station and own farm data, the yield gains were something like six, 7% and the water use efficiency was higher by 15% and the economic returns by 27%. If you talk about the cropping systems response to conservation agriculture for yield, for water use efficiency and for economic return, you can see that uh, some cropping systems are more responsive than the other cropping systems. And the case is like a maize wheat system is more responsive in terms of grain yield and the water use efficiency than the other cropping systems. But in terms of the net returns, you can see the rice wheat was more responsive because rice wheat is, you know, having intensive tillage, a lot of labor, a lot of energy requirements. So there is a significant reduction in the cost of cultivation in rice wheat system. But overall, the returns were higher ranging from 20 to 
if you put together you know the percent change over control in terms of the grain yield the protein equivalent yield the water use efficiency and and net economic return uh, whether you use one element of conservation agriculture or all the elements of conservation agriculture there has been uh, a significant increase in 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 all the parameters uh, so you know we you know conservation agriculture with no till uh, in a double or triple cropping system we residues retained or or or, or removed uh, still has advantage uh, you know in terms of uh, e what use efficiency and economic uh, returns but uh, those response varies from you know with the cropping system in some systems uh, there are more gains in other system there are less gains and you can see in terms of the productivity in maize wheat system uh, there are more gains compared to the rice wheat system uh, and 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 uh, also in terms of the economic uh, returns you can see uh, those variations also uh, the response of conservation agriculture varies with the soil types and uh, you can see you know from the perspective of grain yield and water use efficiency uh, the grain yield was uh, you know highest in 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 moderately fine soils uh, whereas uh, the the water use efficiency was highest in the clay soils so uh, it depends what parameters you are looking and what soil type but in general uh, you know medium textured soils are better uh, you know responding to conservation agriculture in terms of yield than than the other soils now if you put together all the tangible benefits of conservation agriculture in south asia's uh, small holder systems from the perspective of the system yield 5 to 12% increase 10 to 30% increase in water use efficiency there is a significant saving in in labor you know ranging from 26 to 44% there is a significant saving in energy uh, ranging from 46 to 62% and uh, the profitability increase was 20 to 27 percent, which is uh, quite sub, you know, substantial, quite significant, and of course, a reduction in the global warming potential or greenhouse gas emissions, ranging from 12 to 33 percent. So, from all those, uh, you know, parameters, conservation agriculture is benefiting. Now, this all uh, information has been published in this, uh, you know, paper in Nature Sustainability. If somebody is interested can have a look in on this paper and this indicates that uh, the the uh, there was more favorable response of conservation agriculture in loamy soils or medium textured soils and also in maize wheat system compared to the other cropping system the results also suggest that there are opportunities to maximize the expected benefits of conservation agriculture but the policy makers and development practitioners should continue to be appraised of potential of conservation agriculture contributing to the sustainable development goals in the region for which we all are committed to and you can see that conservation agriculture directly or indirectly contributing to these 10 sustainable development goals which is quite uh, you know significant of course there are certain barriers of you know adoption of conservation agriculture which also i would like to share with you the one, you know, in this uh, predominantly double or triple cropping region, uh, the, the still the conservation agriculture is crop or commodity centric. Uh, there is a lack of systems approach in conservation agriculture, whereas conservation agriculture is uh, systems, uh, you know, uh, focused. Uh, uh, still, uh, there is a production focus. Uh, there is a lack of multi-criteria analysis from conservation agriculture. So just people are looking at the yield, but I think there are other tangible benefits as I shared with you there is a, there is something missing in terms of the theory of change at different levels whether it's subnational national or regional and uh, of course uh, knowledge and capacity gaps are still there and uh, conservation agriculture is a knowledge intensive process that needs new knowledge new capacity for its local level adaptation people feel like it's a silver bullet but it is not um, so so i think we need to have local level adaptations and that needs clearly uh, a right targeting uh, and defining the recommendation domains of the uh, of the conservation agriculture systems from the investment perspective i think uh, you know many a time it's, it it seems like that they feel like one size fits all but that's not uh, the case i think there is a need uh, you know for, for for policy and more particularly from the perspective of lack of science you know there is a lack of science evidence based uh, targeting 
and investment. So I think policy has to do a lot on this. Also, you know, the social and behavioral science communication is something very, very important from, you know, from the perspective of conservation agriculture, because there's a lot of apprehensions, a lot of perceived risk versus the reality check. I think we need to have the reality check, uh, not, you know, should not be depending on, on apprehensions and the perceived risk. Uh, we need also a common neutral platform for learning and capacity and, uh, you know, you know, for, for, for collective wisdom and action on conservation agriculture, which is, you know, which is uh, limiting the adoption of conservation agriculture. But, uh, uh, you know, our analysis uh, is contributing to some of, uh, you, know, you know, addressing some of those, uh, those uh, barriers, especially from the multi-criteria analysis and investment, uh, you know, perspective. Uh, so with this, uh, thank you so much for your, uh, for time and, and attention. I'll be happy to uh, respond any of your query concern and uh, I'll be happy to have your you know suggestions to improve. Thank you so much.